In this tutorial, we will learn how to make low poly 3D models and levels for your video games. The tools and techniques shown are suited for artists, but especially programmers and designers that might not have any artistic skills. Where the Blackthorn Brothers have made a free crash course on how to make your very first video game, the link is in the description. Okay, so the fantastic modeling tool I'll be using to create my 3D models is called Magica Voxel. Download that, it's completely free. You'll be met with this interface. There's a large cube and various tools left and right. You'll see that using all these is very easy and intuitive. Let's begin by reducing the size of our workspace. I'll do so by clicking on this half button several times. Then I can hit clear, which will remove all the model in my scene. Now you'll see that modeling in this software is like playing around with Legos. I can select this simple block tool, and then by left-clicking, I'll add blocks to my scene. I can zoom in and out using the mouse scroll wheel, pan around by holding down the mouse scroll wheel, and rotate around the interface by holding down the right mouse button. Basically, it's like navigating the Unity game engine's interface. If I hold down shift, I can erase blocks. I can also hold down the left mouse button and drag to create several blocks at a time. Another very useful tool is Extrude, which can be found right here. And has shown you'll be able to pull out multiple blocks from whatever surface you click on. Right here, I can also pick the color of the blocks I create. Now, say you make a bunch of gray blocks, but would rather they be orange. You can select the Paint tool and color those in in orange. You can also select blocks with this tool here and hold down the Shift key to select more blocks. You can then hit delete to remove them all, for example, or simply change their color. I can also move blocks around using this tool right here. Hopefully you can already get a feel for how much fun this software can be. To the right of the screen, you can click on various example scenes, which shows you some of the potential of Magic of Voxel. And a quick search online will blow your mind away when you see some of the things people have created with these basic tools. But let's start nice and basic by building our first model, a tree. Now, I recommend you toggle on this button to see a grid, which will help when placing and painting blocks. You can also toggle on shadows, which will just make your models look a little nicer. Okay, I'll start by building the trunk using a brown color. I'll create a couple blocks, then extrude them out by using the F key for a shortcut. Then I'll add some green blocks on top for the tree's foliage. And there we go. I'll keep my tree super simple since I'm going for an ultra low poly cartoon look. But you can add more detail if you like, holding down shift for example to erase certain bits of the foliage and maybe painting in the leaves with various shades of green. Regardless, when you're happy with the results, let's export the model into Unity by heading over to the bottom right of the screen and clicking on OBJ since we want to export it as an OBJ file. I'll save it into my 3D Unity project and head right over there. So now all I need to do is drag and drop the model into my scene and ta-da, we've made a cute low poly tree in a minute. Let's now create a ground to place it on. I'll head back to Magic of Voxel and make a bunch of earthy colored blocks which I'll then extrude. Then I'll add a grass layer and on top of that, scatter a couple lighter green blocks to act as bushes. I can also draw in a path if I like. I'll export that as an OBJ into Unity and drag it into my scene. If you notice that the pivot point of your object is off-center, make sure to toggle on the local space option inside Magic of Voxel before exporting. Now I can duplicate some trees around, rotate and scale them in different directions to add some quick variety. I'll head back to Magic of Voxel and build a tower. Again, starting from a simple base, extrude it out with the F key and add some protective ramparts at the top. I'll use the Shift key to erase a few blocks for the windows and the door. I can also paint the windows in a darker gray. Again, it's completely up to you how detailed you want your creations to be. I might also paint some blocks in a slightly different shade to make a simple brick-like effect. Then let's export that as an OBJ into Unity. I'll add the tower to my scene. Now imagine there's something you don't like about your tower. Well, you can go back into Magic of Voxel, make whatever changes you like, and then simply re-export as an OBJ and overwrite the file which will automatically update the model in the scene view. Now, as you can see, in a couple minutes, we're able to make cool models and add them to a 3D world. I recommend you also add some post-processing. I'll also download this free Skybox asset pack from the Unity Asset Store. 
import that into my project, and then head over to Window, Lighting, and from the Environment tab, I'll click on Skybox Material and pick this nice cartoony blue skybox. This makes our background look a lot nicer. Finally, to nail home that cartoony feel, I'll download the free Quick Outline Asset Pack and import it into my Unity project. I can now select my tower model, for example, and add the outline component to it. You'll see there's a variable to pick the outline color and another to set the outline width. I can play around with both and then hit play to see the result. That adds such a nice touch to our cartoony model. And I'll add the outline component to my other models, so trees and grounds, playing with the color and width until I'm happy with the end result. We can add a little player character to our world, so I'll head to Magic of Voxel and make a simple blocky character. Anyway, I'll add my character to the scene, give him a rigid body, box collider and player controller script, and there we go. He's moving around the tiny 3D world I built in barely a few minutes. If you then duplicate the ground, add more trees and towers, for example, the world can very quickly expand. So now it's time to build a cool little adventure game or a real-time strategy game full of low-poly minions. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. We're releasing a quality game dev tutorial every week. We remind you that we've got a free crash course on how to make your very first game. The link to that is in the description. And with that said, we'll see you real soon. Cheers.